Okay, this will be a challenging one, folks, uh, but it could come up looking good. Let's hope so, folks. Oh, I do miss a loved one, folks. His name is Luigi, and I love him, and I'm trying to get my stuff on television to find him. And it's really difficult trying to get my work out there. Trying to, I've been trying to get on television now for like eight and a half years. Oh, it wasn't all television at the beginning. Uh, now I just fucked up. This user interface is a pain. But basically, I in the beginning I felt that I had to get a name for myself. I had to try and become famous as a photocopier artist so one of the first things I started doing was making just a few flyers for a zine fest in uh, in Melbourne back in 2012 February 2012 and I thought I was going to find Luigi going to Melbourne you know and but it never happened so I've been trying to find him but I don't bother looking for him I'm just trying to let my video stuff go to air on television. But it's difficult because there's so much other news like the coronavirus. So, yeah. Anyway, we've got this. We've got this tin, this um, drink can. Arizona. So the Americans like to do things really big. <laughs> That's what it seems to be. So that's Arizona. But they have some really cool stuff. It's funny. It's a funny country at the US. I'd like to go to... My favourite place would have to be New York. I'd like to go to New York with Luigi. I couldn't go on my own. I wouldn't be able to do it on my own, a trip. Uh, It'd be too hard because of my disabilities. I can't, um, I can't do things like trying to find where the motel is or the hotel, uh, whatever they call it. Anyway, that looks shit ass. This is a shitty beginning. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I, I get lost, especially in a place like New York. I definitely get lost. So I don't trust myself with the directions and all that, even though we have Google. Google's really a really good tool, and now that's going for a roll when we don't want to roll it. So just like back, try again. I started too early. Now I'm going to just pull that one up. That was shit. That was a shit start. I'm trying to roll rolling it it was rolling on its own trying to just pull it back again folks this is a difficult one folks I just went a bit shaky with my left hand just then I hate it that's what I hate about roly polies is they're really you know they're going to be difficult chances are uh, that looks interesting but it's not anything what I want um, I'm gonna try we're gonna keep doing it even though our toner is running is probably gonna run low very soon and this kind of fuck up isn't any good that could be a goer it looks it looks like I got it synchronized with the lamp at, at least at the end I hate it when I'm running on low uh, and I have to try and get it right. Uh, yeah, pity we can't see much of the purple, but that's pretty well as, as good as it's probably going to get. Um, I wonder what we're going to do with this Arizona thing. But I really am missing a loved one and it's very difficult trying to find him when the world is focused on uh, stuff like the COVID-19, otherwise simply known as coronavirus.
and it's just too it's just too much happening and also there's going to be a bushfire season coming up courtesy of climate change so the bushfires are probably going to be the the next in line to hog airtime that I otherwise could have if it wasn't for this stupid big ticket news items that just keep coming and coming and you can't stop them you know anything that's to do with negativity death disaster disease damage anything like that becomes potential news fodder and it's really hard to now that looks really cool and it's really difficult trying to compete with that big ticket stuff because it is it's the stuff that is bushfires and pandemic uh, which is the coronavirus in this case uh, is like ready-made news it's already there there's plenty of it it's in good supply it's not going to run out it's going to keep going and you know and you can't and it's like every, it takes top priority you know people wanting to have or the news news channels making it seem that we have to keep up to date with the latest developments of these disasters and diseases and pandemics and shit and basically it's become just such it's so big ticket you know you just can't win you can't win with this when you've got this stuff in circulation so how can I as a creative person who's looking for a loved one compete with this shit because they don't know they won't know they won't have any idea of what my stuff will do uh, I think my stuff is unprecedented it's not familiar enough uh, I think for the news channels to want to even try uh, they like a bit of safe safety is in it's a safe bet that the coronavirus or the bushfires or whatever other negative shit is going to fucking pull ratings and that's it it's all about ratings in the end ratings are needed i'm pretty sure but we need to break away from the full-on conventional and we have to st we have to try and try something new I mean, I'm sure a love story would be warm and would be heartwarming to the populace to see something positive for a change instead of having to deal with all these problems and having thinking they have to be updated when these update shit is just fucking ratings pullers to try and can to try and hook people to keep their heads glued to the screen. It, it, it's exasperating I find for me it's exasperating it really is because I'm I've got a word I've got things to say as well I've got so much that needs to happen on television it's not funny but I'm going to keep making these silly little videos until such time as this shit eventually makes landfall on television and I can find my future husband who I lost when I was young and I made some foolish fucking mistakes and I have to pay the price being away from him and having to resort to this kind of stuff to find him it's not as easy as it looks and it looks like we've got a good um, piece out of this Arizona thing I wasn't sure most of these demos don't work out too well and this one's turned up a treat. Yeah, there you go. Arizona reimagined.